Okay everyone, this video is going to show you how to attach your DSLR onto a microscope. Um, we do sell in store Canon and Nikon SLR adapters. And in this video we're going to demonstrate how to attach that adapter onto your Nikon. So when purchasing uh, your Canon or Nikon adapter, make sure that you do get the right one according to your camera. So here today we do have a D90. And in order for you to attach the adapter onto it, you do have to remove the lens first. So you remove the lens by pressing the release button right here. It might be different on your cameras, whichever one you may have. So you just click that and slide it right off. Now when you purchase your DSLR adapter, you're going to get a T-mount ring. And on the T-mount ring, you can see that there is a red dot. And with that red dot, you want to line it up with the white dot right here. And basically, you're just going to slide it on. Just like that. And after you slide it on, you're going to go ahead and get the 2x lens that came in the package. And you're going to screw it onto that. Now, you don't have to do it in the steps that I just did. I mean, you could go ahead and get the T-mount and just screw it on before you um, connect it to the camera. So for example, I'm going to release this, just like that. And if you already screwed on the beginning, you could just go ahead and mount it again by aligning the red and white dot on your camera. So that is the camera attached to the adapter. So, uh, there may be some of you out there that have either a monocular microscope, binocular, or trinocular. Uh, whichever the case, you could attach the DSLR onto that. Uh, basically, if you have a monocular, it means you have one eyepiece, uh, binocular two, and trinocular means that you have the third port on top that's usually dedicated for a microscope camera. And this adapter will work fine on any of them as long as they have ports that are 23 millimeter, 30, or 30.5. Any one of those sizes and this adapter would fit. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to attach it to our T490 microscope. This is a compound microscope and basically you would attach it by removing one of the eyepieces. Um, our microscope doesn't come with any screws that hold the eyepiece in place. For some of you out there that do have a monocular microscope, there might be a small screw you might want to remove before placing the adapter in. So here we're going to go ahead and remove the eyepiece. And after we do that, we're going to go ahead and just uh, slide the camera right through it. And as you can see, the camera fits perfectly fine. And it's able to uh, sit up by itself without me holding it. Now for those of you out there who want to be careful with it, you might want to hold it in place. You also have the option of connecting it to the trinocular port. And the way that this attaches, it's going to slide right in the tube. On this T490, I have a part on top. Um, it's called a CPC mount. And we're just going to remove that for now. I mean, you can use it later if you need to, but uh, for these purposes, we don't need it at all. So I'm just going to go ahead and get the camera with the adapter again and slide it right on the top. And as you can see, the camera fits just nicely on top of uh, the microscope and you don't have to worry about it falling or anything like that. It's best to get a trinocular microscope so it could sit right on top here. Now, what most people don't understand is that when you attach this, uh, this lens, all your auto-focusing features disappear. So what you're gonna have to do when using this adapter is you're gonna have to place it in manual because your camera won't detect a lens being attached if it's not a manual. So we're just gonna go ahead and power this on. And as you can see, the aperture is all blacked out because you can't choose an aperture with this, uh, with this adapter on it. So the only two things you could function are the shutter speed and the ISO, the ISO. So the higher the ISO, the grainier the image will be. So let's go ahead and just leave around maybe ISO 400. And the shutter speed uh, dictates how much light is allowed into the camera. 
So let's go ahead and just make it a 200. So I'm just going to go ahead and attach this down the tube. And the way that this works is you're going to have to move the microscope up or down uh, in order for you to get focus. On the T490 we have a fine focusing uh, feature where you could just slide it to fine focus your subject or you also have the coarse focusing knob which allows you to bring the stage up and down. And this would allow you to get focus while using your camera adapter. So the first thing you want to do uh, in getting this in focus is you want to go ahead and get the eyepieces in focus first. And after you go ahead and do that, you might want to readjust the trinocular port by moving the ridges up and down so that the camera will, will have the same uh, clarity as your eyepieces. If you have a DSLR camera that has live view or a video mode, it might be a little bit easier to get the image in focus. Uh, the reason behind that is because you can look at the screen and you could easily get it in focus that way. Uh, let me demonstrate. This D90 has the option of uh, doing live view and you would accomplish that by just pressing the live view button, it stands for LV. On your Canon or other Nikon camera, you might have a different button to activate the live view. So as you can see, I can kind of see the image right now. It isn't focused through my eyepieces on the microscope, but it's still not yet focused um, uh, through the camera. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to move the coarse and fine focusing knob, which again was on the lower side. Now I'm just going to slightly move it until the camera gets in focus. So as you can see from this image, you could uh, see exactly what you see through the microscope. And if you wanted to move it around, you could just go ahead and move your stage, just like I'm doing here. So again, for those of you who do have live view on your DSLR camera, and uh, when you do have an HDMI monitor, you can easily attach the two together so that you could see your image on the live screen. Now that this D90 has an HDMI port, now it's not your typical size, it is going to be a mini HDMI port. And what you do is attach a mini HD, HDMI cable onto it. So I'm just going to attach it just like this. Now after I attach that, you can see that the image is now on this HDMI monitor that I have. So with the adapter attached, you now have the ability to look at your sample on the big screen. Now that it's on the live screen, it's, it's easy for me to look at my subject. I don't necessarily have to look through the eyepieces at all. And I can just move it around and easily see uh, the subject that I'm looking at. The camera adapter could also be used with stereo microscopes. In this case, we have one of our SE305 models, which is a stereo microscope. So for those of you out there who do like to look at, let's say, stamps, coins, or um, you know, just solid objects, you could use this adapter as well. And a plus would be if you did have the video function so that you could attach it to your monitor. So in this instance, uh, the, eyepieces on this, the eyepieces on this model are a little bit bigger than the T490. Uh, these eyepieces are around 30 millimeters. So with the DSLR adapter, we usually include uh, two adapters. One's a 30 millimeter adapter and the other is 30.5 just in case you have another uh, microscope with larger eyepieces and you need it to fit. So in this case, the SC305, the eyepieces are held by a screw, which I have already unscrewed uh, with a screwdriver. So I'm just easily going to uh, remove this eyepiece. And I'm going to go ahead and take the 30 millimeter adapter and just place it right in there. Now after I put the adapter in, I'm going to get the camera with the T-mount already connected. And I'm just going to slide it in the port. Just like that. Now as you can see from doing that, you will see the image on the screen, but it's not focused. So I'm going to go ahead and get the coarse adjustment knob, which is found on the left or right of the microscope. And I'm just going to gradually adjust it 
so that we see some definition on the screen. So as you can see, the DSLR adapter could be used for live viewing, as well as taking pictures on your microscope. And if you do have that live video recording function, you also have the ability to record whatever it is that you're looking at through the microscope. We hope this video was helpful for all of you who have a Canon or Nikon DSLR camera and we're thinking about getting the adapter. Feel free to purchase one from our website. You can find it at ampscope.com underneath the camera and video section.